I want to use this occasion to reaffirm Ghana's strong commitment and support for ongoing efforts to protect the ocean, particularly the fight against the menace of plastic pollution and maritime litter. Indeed, in September last year, Ghana was joined by Ecuador, Germany, and Vietnam to convene the Ministerial Conference on Plastic Pollution and Marine Litter in Geneva with the able support of the UN Environment Programme. The draft resolution that emerged from the conference through the welcome leadership of Rwanda and Peru was tabled at UNEA 5.2 in Nairobi and eventually adopted as UNEA Resolution 514 and plastic pollution towards an internationally legal binding instrument. Through the Intergovernmental Negotiation Committee that has been established by Resolution 514, the world now has the opportunity to negotiate an internationally legal binding instrument on plastic pollution, especially in the marine environment. Ghana also shares wholly in the provision of the new plastics economy, which advocates the need for a full life cycle approach in addressing marine litter and microplastics. We support the new plastic economy and plan to sign on to the initiative when it is ready. Excellences, in the governance of the ocean, Ghana has adopted the Marine Fisheries Management Plan whose principal objective is to, quote, to protect marine habitat and its biodiversity and to mitigate impacts of global climate variability and climate change. Ghana is also implementing a national plan of action to fight illegal, unregulated, and unreported fishing. In furtherance of this, Ghana supports the ratification of the Cape Town Agreement on the Safety of Fishing Vessels. We believe that once ratified, the Cape Town Agreement will guarantee fisher folk the same level of protection as seafarers more than a century after the adoption of the first convention protecting the lives of seafarers at sea in 1914.